How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse and welcome to box number one of the second half of the X and Y 11 expansion. This is a booster box of Japanese Cruel Trader. Now if you haven't seen my booster box of Explosive Fighter, you definitely want to check that out before proceeding with this video. I will try to remember to leave a little I card in the top right hand corner so you can go to that and see it. But if you're most interested in Cruel Trader, you do um, have the opportunity to spit past the first like minute or so as we show this uh, this booster box artwork to avoid any spoilers on my first box of Explosive Fighter. I did pull very very nicely from that, but now we're going to hope to continue our luck. That's right, continue our luck. Uh, again, no uh, no spoilers beyond this first moment, but I do want to mention something in particular. Uh, how nice would it be to pull a Magiarna? full art after pulling the Volcanion that we had in our first box of X and Y 11, following it up with the second box, but the first of this expansion would be so, so very wonderful. Uh, Magiarna EX is in this set, uh, Gardevoir EX, Shiny Mega Gardevoir EX, as well as break cards for Yan Mega, Evil Tall, and Hydreigon. What a stacked set that is, and the pack artwork is beautiful. I really like what they've done with this one. So if you're excited to see what could be in this booster box and many more X and Y 11 booster boxes to come, make sure to hit the like button down below. And make sure to leave a comment as well letting me know what your favorite cards are from this set. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So in the first Cruel Trader pack we've got a Weavile. And we are going to take our time with this artwork as well. Anorith, which has not been in a set for quite some time. Uh, there's a Bergmite. Uh, yeah, that's got to be Claw Fossil, I'm guessing. And nice, the very first pack of Cruel Trader gives us a dual-type holographic Bisharp. If you did happen to skip my Explosive Fighter Booster Box opening, there are dual types in each expansion now. Uh, each expansion, I believe, has four of them. Uh, the, uh, the Mega Pokemon, a Hollow, and two Regulars. If memory does serve me correct. Next pack has Pokemon Ranger, and yes, the uh, trainers are shared between these sets, so each set has four of the same trainers. Uh, there's a Mareep, a Sneasel, Persian, and Yan Mega. Really like the choices of break cards in the set in Evil Tall, Yan Mega, and Hydreigon. I'm a big fan of Yan Mega and Hydreigon in particular, and the Evil Tall one looks really, really nice. So our next pack has a Jumpluff, a uh, Nidoran, a Mankey, unfortunately not followed by Venusaur, Rattata, Firo, and Pidgey, but what are you going to do? Uh, Tangela, and oh my lord, I believe I have called it. That is your Magiana EX Full Art. It's not often that you can call a card coming out of a Japanese booster box. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is an example of when you are extremely lucky and sometimes things just go your way. This is definitely going my way because I love this card. What a beautiful choice of artwork for this. I'm going to zoom right in down there. And again, the first numbered secret rare of the expansion has made its appearance. And Pokemon that have not received cards before at all. Uh, showing up as full arts in the first box of each one. Amazing, 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 amazing. Look at this card. Look at this card. Look at this card. Get a nice look at... That is something beautiful. Again, we're going to shut off the big light so that you can see a bit more of the fine texture on this card. Really get an opportunity to look at it. But of course, uh, for fidelity of color, we need to have that light on so you can actually see what the heck is going on. And I am overjoyed to add this to my collection. A truly beautiful start box one of each expansion, make sure you have hit that like button, because that is the way to show your support, to help other people find this video. Oh man, oh, I can't get over it. Uh, Tangrowth, we've got a Chimchar there, just chewing on a gear, it looks like, it's kind of weird. Uh, Nidorino, there's a Zvilus, and another Greedy die. 
say another greedy die like I've already pulled one of this box, but I haven't. It is in my expansion, uh, in my collection for the other expansion, but I do have to collect them both. Uh, the Nidal line has completed with this Nidal King. Uh, there's a Hopip, Monferno, Spirit Tomb, and a holographic Ampharos, and I think this artwork is really cute. Hope you guys will agree. You'll be seeing a lot of Ampharos being pulled from probably every booster box. Just kind of the way that things worked out with this expansion. Uh, being that there are only six holographic cards in both Explosive Fighter and this and Cruel Trader, uh, it's unlikely that we'll see five EX boxes. At least I haven't been seeing them. So you'll probably see each hollow in every box. Uh, there's Ninja Boy. There's a Meowth. Very colorful artwork there. Uh, Mantine. A Ponyard. And a shiny Mega Gardevoir. EX with Despair Ray. Not trying to make fun of you, Jeff. I love this card. It's really cool. Um, oh, I actually didn't do the translation on uh, Megiarna, but I'll do that after this. Uh, this has beautiful colors on it. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, if Wait till you guys see the ultra rare version of this card. It's going to be amazing. Uh, Despair Ray does uh, 110 damage plus an extra 10 damage for each of your own benched Pokemon that you discard. Which is kind of wild. I guess it's an appropriate name for the card. But that is beautiful. Um, Magiarna EX, like you're going to be reading this. Uh, its ability is called Mystic Heart. Uh, Mystic Heart uh, means that if your Pokemon has a Metal Energy attached, it uh, ignores all the effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. And its attack, down at the bottom there, doing 120 damage, that's Soul Blaster. But if you use it the next turn, it only does 60 damage the next turn. In my excitement... I'm neglecting to talk about the cards. But given how these openings have gone thus far, you can scarcely blame me. So, we've got a Guard of Our Spirit Link. Really? Uh, a Yanma. There's a Flaffy. Another Bergmite. And our dual type Volcarona. Not a holographic card. I don't know why I reached for a sleeve, but. I did that with Ancient Trade Cards sometimes, too. Uh, next pack has a special charge. Halucha. I can think of one person in particular that's going to be very, very happy about this card. Just kidding, they're pissed. Uh, Skip Loom. Uh, there's a Dino and an Armaldo. Great artwork there. Of course, I'm not a TCG player, and you can't use Japanese cards in official tournaments anyways, at least not over here in the States. Uh, there's another Weavile, a Rufflet, cool to see Rufflet in a set, Anorith, a uh, Hopip, and an Infernape Hollow. Awesome. So Infernape does, in fact, have attacks that do 120 and 200 damage, uh, but the first one you have to discard the, all the fire energy attached to them, and the second one you can only use if there are at least 10 fire energies in your discard pile. And then you have to shuffle 10 of them back into your deck. So seeing its ultra powerful attacks is already a bit nullified by the fact that it's a stage 2, it makes it more difficult to get out and get moving, but yeesh, it's pretty hindering. Uh, there's an Avalug, a Meryl, We'll be seeing a uh, shiny Azumarill, hopefully, in this video. Uh, Monferno, Meowth, and another Greedy Die. Next pack is a Braviary, which... This is weird. I don't know, this card just looks weird to me. Uh, Nidorino, Mareep, a Larvesta, first one of that, I believe, and a Primeape. Good to have Primeape in another set. Alright, there's a Yanmega. Very cool. Uh, another Claw Fossil. Chimchar. Tangela. Just hanging out, you know, like you do. And a Pokemon Ranger. Hoping for our first great card. Hopefully soon, maybe even in this pack, you never know. Uh, Nidoking. Spiritomb. Bergmite. Persian. Yes, indeed. Our first break is Yanmega Break. Awesome, awesome looking card. Uh, its attack is, I believe, called Penetrate. It does 100 damage, and it ignores weakness, resistance, and any of the effects on the opposing Pokemon. 
And it's awesome because it's, well, it's Yen Mega. So we gotta, oh my. Hold on a second. Hold on just a tick. I'm gonna move that stack over there. I tried to move something out of the way and I clipped a big pile of cards. That kind of sucks. Uh, but anyways, we're back into our sleeves again. I didn't damage anything. We're good. Um, and now I actually forgot what I was going to say. But I'm stoked that I got my Yam Mega Break. That makes me happy. There's your shiny Azumarill. Awesome stuff. Very distinctive design there. Uh, Yenma, Dino, a uh, Mankey. And Hydreigon is our Hollow, one of my absolute favorite Pokemon. Great to see him back on the TCG. And oh, I can't wait to pull that break for the first time. Just such a menacing design. Absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, might be my favorite Pokemon from either 5th or 6th gen, although I'll have to think about that. Usually don't itemize things like that. Uh, there's your Volcarona. Mantine, Meowth, Sneasel, and Gardevoir Spiritling. Alrighty, we've got our Maldo, Nidoran, Paulucha, Flaffy, and Gardevoir EX. So these boxes aren't going to be total carbon copies, where we pull um, the brand new regular EX in uh, in each one. Uh, but we did get our Guard of Art EX, so that is very nice. Uh, it does have Link Blast. Uh, now I remember what I was going to say. Uh, Link Blast does 30 damage plus an extra 70 if uh, Guard of Art and the defending Pokemon have the same number of energy attached. And um, the attack at the bottom is Blade of Light, which does 120 damage, but requires you to discard an energy from Guard of Art. If you're wondering how I know this stuff, how I have all the translations in my head, I kid you not, I study the EXs and the breaks and the trainers ahead of time. And I quiz myself on them uh, throughout the course of a couple of days so I have them all memorized for videos like this so that I can actually be informative and help. Uh, Jumpluff, Chimchar, Rufflet, Skiploom, and our regular holographic Evil Tall. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We have some great stuff to look forward to in, uh, in future sets, but being able to get all these hollows in the first booster box is really special too. Here we have Avalug, uh, Ponyard, uh, Zvilus, Persian in special charge. Maybe one more hollow left out of here. It'll be interesting to map out where the best pulls are because I do open my cases in order. I could go right across uh, left to right and top to bottom. Uh, 1 through 10, and then I do the second uh, second layer. Another Greedy Die, Mareep, Anorith, a uh, Larvesta, and a Holographic Hoopa, which I think is pretty darn cool. Not as nice as the Hoopa from Bandit Ring. Uh, that is definitely amongst my favorites, but that is pretty wild looking. But yeah, it'll be uh, interesting to see if the, uh, if the Secret Rare and Ultra Rare poles are like in the same place out of the case. If that makes any sense. Like if they're slotted in the same way. And our last pack of this box of Cruel Trader, our first box of many, is Braviary, Nidoran, a Meryl, a Hoppip, and a Weavile to finish things off. Might have been our first card and our last card. Let me see. Oh yeah, it was. So, first box of each set, each expansion, is finished. And both of them are amazing. Oh, they gave off really, really nice pulls, so I'm very happy about that. I'm going to do a quick sort off camera. Holographic pulls included. This beautiful dual type Bisharp, as well as hollows of Ampharos, Infernape, Hoopa, Evil Tall, and Hydreigon. Got another single break card in this booster box with the Mega Break, as well as Gardevoir EX. Mega Gardevoir EX, the shiny version, of course, and the Magiarna EX Full Art. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It means a great deal that you took the time to turn up and show your support for these videos. Make sure you hit the like button down below. Uh, leave a comment talking about your favorite cards. And, of course, make sure you are subscribed because, as of right now, I have three more X and Y 11 booster boxes planned for tomorrow, 
three more X and Y 11 booster boxes planned for Thursday, two for Friday, and then our 100 pack openings will be on Saturday and Sunday respectively, with a sale video to follow whenever it is that I can upload it. So, thanks as always for watching, I love you guys, oh so much, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.